Oh. I forget that it loads up in such a creepy manner. Ah, yes, and we got something called Thunder Peak. What's this? Ooh. Brought to you by the Home Safety Hotline. These are the videos that we're not supposed to see? Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. Okay. In this guide will show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's no uh, most beautiful trails. I don't know why I said. I thought it said not most. <laughs> Supply. See, like this is where the one where we need Jack Set the guy voicing over, like an iron bark. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical tri trials ahead. Okay. Make sure to bring hiking shoes! Wouldn't sneakers be good too? Well, I guess you're protecting your feet more with hiking shoes. A water bottle! I got that! Here's mine! It's got a little carbon filter. Needs to be clean. Iron sword? Climbing gloves! How do you climb when you're hiking a trail? I guess the rocks? A sword? If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. This would be a cool, like, second game. Like, going through this with a sword? That would be so cool! The trail. This video is long. Thunder Peak Trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Okay, so that's why you would need the climbing gloves. <gasps> that's so pretty! Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Oh, that's gorgeous and scary. One time I was at the top of a mountain, terrifying. Be sure to stop and read info signs littered all around. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Oh. No, I've never had like a trail like that. Is that actually real? Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent? Once you've... Oh. Is that where the sword comes in? As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots? What is this demon monster thing? Is this the thing from Minecraft? Enter the cave. Uh, at that point I would just turn around. Ain't no way I'm walking barefoot in this cave. Oh. When inside the cave, Move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Why would anyone do this? Whoa. That kind of looks like a cave I was in one time. The inside of caves are cool. Follow the lights. Do not stray. Why not, why not just close this hiking area? This seems very dangerous. Is there going to be a monster? If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword! <laughs> oh! Oh, what got him? Oh, he got got! Oh! See that? You gotta practice your swordmanship before this hike, man! Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak! Yay! You survived! <laughs> on earth you made it now enjoy the view man that's the thing about hiking it's like oh it's great what a tiring journey now i'm gonna sit here take a couple photos and do the journey all the way back i just don't find it worth it sometimes a drive up it sure but man maybe it's because of i can't like climb Ooh. oh spooky that was his display Oh, here we go. This address is no longer active. What? 
hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. Oh, they got him. Mike 3 was... Yeah, Mike 3 was this guy who lived in the hole. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline as of April 30th in 1996. Wait. Oh no, as, okay, I, I didn't finish, I thought this was tied. This address will be shut down, no longer able to send and receive email messages. If you still need support from HSH, please email us. Oh, they took him. They took him. Daily coupon, yay. Our hag hide, yay, for accuracy. Source cruelty free from the perished and treated with our flower scented formula. These are the best quality hag hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount, free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed safe. Oh, keep the keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safe. <laughs> no, no way. I'm good. I don't want that. Y'all can y'all can uh, keep, do, do that Cooper hagging for deals. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. I am ready for my 100% accuracy to come right again. I'm ready. I have mastered this game. No one can stop me. I hope I don't die because I've been doing so good. Like I said, the first two, three days I flopped, but now I'm on a roll. All right, clock in. We're going to get some new creatures to look at. We're not. Yeah, we are. We're almost filled up. That's crazy. What a wild ride. Okay. Hello. I'm ready for your call. I literally can't progress without thee. Oh, lady. Why is she not calling? Hello? There she is. Gosh, man, where were you? Carol. Hark, employee. Hark? Lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body? Hark? What does hark mean? Oh yeah, she's definitely like hob. She's, she's manager hob. Alright, we got <gasps> Puka? No, 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 Puka, no Puka. Reanimation. Oh, oh, Spriggan, that's what made the Sprig tree. Brittany. What kind of animal has gotten into my cellar? I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Oh my gosh. Please hold. Please hold. I will help you. Neighbor's doorway? What? Leprechaun? Oh, that's not the leprechaun we know and love. Okay. <laughs> Dorcha? Dorka? What is that? I don't see anything there. Bed hag? Ooh, that's the hag thing. Autumn vines? Okay. Spriggan? We saw- we know what the Spriggans do. Where is it? Is that it? Is that little green thing it? I can't tell. I can't tell. I don't know. I just work here. Troll? Oh! <laughs> I like those fat trolls. Warlock remnant. No. Mm -mm. Okay, so she said... Let's click out to something else. Let's click out to Unicorn Fun Guy. Little cutie. Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. What is that? Champagne? Broken bottles. Sounds like wine sprite? Flapping around? Do you have wings? Wine sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known to con of, for consuming wine. They're small, large eye winged. There you go. With translucent skin that often appears red while they're feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites are commonly reporting broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste or smell. Ew! Wine sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fey flu. 
should be removed. Wine sprites can be removed by various common households. Pesticides, provided they are baited with wine. You should always clean wine glasses and containers immediately after use. You keeping dirty wine glasses around? That's your issue, lady. Clean up your freaking wine. You're causing a mess and you bring in the phase. That's what you get. Thank you. Man, we got them all. That's crazy. We got them all. It's all here now. Dorcha. Where was that one thing? Puka. What's this thing? This thing is creepy. Oh, 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 oh you scared me! So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and Ooh, something leaky. is leaking I know out. what that is. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. They are known to tendency to replace common pets. Watch how- Oh, weird. Okay. Please hold. You got- You got, you got, you got wood secretions. Right? Let's see. That's all I know about it is that it leaks out. Wood secretions are pink, viscous liquid substances that can sometimes- from wood that has been mistreated, it is known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing sticky pooling buildup. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as sweet candy like smell to them, Ugh. making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely to remove the hazard from the home. The offending wood should be replaced entirely to prevent wood from entering the secretion stage. Ensure good care and take it towards your wood. Yeah, see, like, it just seems like everyone here just got, like, bad care for their home, for their furniture, and then they, then they cause these issues. That's why you got these problems. Stop treating your stuff like garbage. Treat your, uh, treat your furniture with respect. Please, thank you. Enjoy your leaky wood. Do not ever insult or shout at wood. <laughs> oh, okay. To ensure good care, staying in the wood, refrain from scratching, not being bitten. Man, we're getting these calls quick. Hello, Howard. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something. They oh. told me to call you, hoping you'll be more helpful. Spriggan? What a Spriggan? Let's see. No, that's Sprig Tree. Spriggan? Maybe that is it. Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely in households and reside prim primarily inside trees. Okay, he said there's something moving around the trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and not feeling that the trees and the feeling the trees are watching them. I mean, yeah, seen their eyes. Danger. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked and physically caught. Physical contact with one will result in the growth of sprig tree within the affected individual. Okay. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within the view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. So mowing the lawn, I guess, will tie to the removing of grass and then ate fruit in public, which is, do not, yeah. Maybe? That makes the most amount of sense. And, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. You gotta spring in. Don't touch it, or don't let it touch you. Stay inside. Offer water. Gosh, the spring, the spring tree is what's creepy. What happens when they touch you? Oh, uh, no. Man, what does it sound like? Oh, hello. Sorry, I can't hear you. 
Lots of death noises. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? The things are good. Please things hold. Things are splendid here. What's that vine called? I never really read on it. So, is it... It's not cellar growths. Uh, there's something about... Autumn vines. Is it autumn vines? Oh. Blissful. Autumn vines are vines with orange and or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over the house. Let's see. They're growing around the house. Okay. Frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Blissful. The pheromones of autumn vines released in the air, while not toxic, can often cause the household accidents to thanks to their blissful dizzying effect. Move uh, vines locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent auto vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. Wait, to the ones beneath the soil? Is that the same people who is like Carol? The ones when she said that the ones below the soil are coming out soon? Oh. There's also another set of vines. I know there is. Um, shoot, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, is it sprig vines? Here we go. Let's read sprig vines real quick. Sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off all exits. They're often a sign that a spriggan has been provoked. Okay, so I don't think it's like this. Uh, yeah, no, this is entrapment. So, autumn vines? so creepy it's so creepy i'm like i'm waiting for the audios one time to just like scream in my ear it's so creepy okay that was easy oh man we're getting them quick hello jill hi do you know how i got here i'm I i'm not where i should be please i was told that you could help me my family they aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. What? Please hold. What? What? Uh, neighbor's doorway? This is something that... Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Neighbor's doorways are door frame like structures that can often appear in the basement or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as parallelism. Neighbor stories do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting of pluralism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Wait. Neighbor stories are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. It's wise to utilize the door removal surface. One can prevent neighborhood doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness. And not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for an alternate life path? That's weird. Uh, please, I was told you can help me with my family. They aren't my family. Please tell me how to get back to my family. Is it a memory? Does she have memory issues? Is it a memory wisp? No. No, homeowners infested with memory which often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the ability to remember the- No, it's not that. Cobalt? I don't know. Uh, no. I don't know, I'm just- The neighbor one makes the most sense to me, Dorsha. Uh, Dorsha is one who delivers one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorsha calling report the feeling of immense dread, the station of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of great lurking shadow. Dorsha will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorsha is otherwise harmless to humans that it does not seek. What? 
To be sought by Dorcha is to be found by Dorcha. If you or loved one are sought by Dorcha, it is advised to grieve, find peace through acceptance. What is that? Just like Grim Reaper? Just taking souls? That's weird. Oh, Dorcha's creepy. Maybe Dorcha is what's gonna come out of the darkness or out of the soil. Listen, P Puka scares the freaking crap out of me. Portal. No, it's not Portal, because we met a lady with Portal. It's easy just to do, like, the new stuff. Oh! <gasps> Warlock Remnants ought to report objects. No. So, no, no, no. I think she actually just has neighbor's doorway. Maybe, it, maybe she wished for, like, a new family or a better family. Like, oh, I wish my son would just do better in school. And then she went through the door. Kind of like a Coraline moment, you know? Coraline wants, like, a better mom and dad. She goes through the little tunnel. And then she does get back. Good mom and dad. Oh. Hello? Homesleepy hotline. Claire. Hi. Yeah, there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on oh, my dinner it table. It's quite big, too. Which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. I know it is. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. <laughs> my old. dog can't even duty that large. Uh, isn't that Fae Feast? No. Oh, here it is, Fae Feast. Pile of large crap. Wait, actual crap? Let's see. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else continue its continued presence can attract pests, cockroaches, ants. There's nothing about this saying it smells bad, though. What should you say? It smells smells like rotten eggs. Feasts are a sign of hospital presence and as such should be consumed immediately once cited to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. Oh. Okay. Nothing here really screams rotten eggs. Uh, animation? We haven't got anything about- Ooh, animation. Okay, that's not it. Bed hag, no. Bog art, no. Monoxide, no, no. We haven't got Closet Labyrinth. We've had this one for a while. I wonder if we'll ever get that one. Dorcha? No, it's not Dorcha. Dorcha's Grim Reaper. Gotta remember that. Dorcha is just a Grim Reaper. The Horde? No, it's not the Horde. It's just crap on the dinner table. Whatever produces my still in the house. Mmm, cobalt? Known to burrow in dark room storage closets to make them their home. Mmm, no. One should not attempt to remove a cobalt from their home. Okay. Leprechaun? Uh, known for consuming? Okay, that's not it. Wait, unless in addition to being a household nuisance, leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters for no, 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 no. Uh, by the looks of it, it looks like- is it a puka? Ooh. Uh, no. No, 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 it's not a puka. Reanimation? We didn't read about this one. Reanimations are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own? That is awful! <laughs> no, grandma! Oh, I see it now. It's a skeleton. Oh no, Grandma. Okay. Looking like tea sprite? Mm, no, 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 no. Okay. Ma'am, you got the faithies. Enjoy your meal while it smells smelly. Have a nice day now, ma'am. Enjoy it. Rotten eggs. I think it's just the rotten eggs. Maybe because she left it out for a while? Like, what if it, like, offered in the morning and she got in the afternoon? See, like, that's what I wish we could have the detail. Do not ever approach a troll. Oh! Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't 
sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every night it's the same story. A bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Okay. Itchy. Bed teeth? Bed teeth is always itchy. We got we got three beds here. Bed bugs. Ooh, okay, so let's see. Bed teeth. He says he's been washing and scrubbed all the bed sheets. He scrubbed them all. Infested covers should be scrubbed thoroughly or disposed entirely. So he's scrubbing the bed the bed teeth. So I don't think it's actually bed teeth. Bed hag? We didn't read about the bed hag. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with elderly with an elderly woman-like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags also will report croaking or wheezing at night, <laughs> or feeling a heavy weight on their chest. Oh, bed hags are not most uh, dangerous to most healthy humans, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma will be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night. It's not that. Maybe you just got bed bugs, because bed bugs are really hard to get rid of. Let's see. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals, tendency to inhabit sleeping areas in the home. Toners from infested bed bugs report itchiness and onset of ratchet, ra ratches, rashes. Bed bugs are not known to transmit diseases, relatively harmless. Bed bugs have developed resistance to the majority of common pesticides and therefore quite difficult to remove. It is advised. Maybe you just got bed bugs. Because if you have bed teeth, then you've been doing everything right. And they're itchy. I think you just got common bed bugs. Burn the sheets! I always hear that whenever you get bed bugs, you're supposed to burn everything, which makes no sense to me. Are you really supposed to just burn it all? Like, they say that, like, a bed bugs in a hotel is, like, the worst nightmare. Luckily, I have never dealt with bed bugs. Hello, welcome to Home Safety Hotline Responder Software. Okay, do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here, so tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. That's it? That's all the information Please you're hold. giving me? Wait, uh... uh... Is the baby a hint? Freezing? I don't know anything about freezing. Warlock? Uh... No. No. Unicorn fungi? No. Troll? Missing clothes. Material, blanket, clothing, no. These are just wanting clo Wait, during the winter they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes? Ew. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Gosh, their bodies full height of 12 feet. That's insane. Oh, wait. Hold on. What if it is a leprechaun? Thinking about it? Right? He something about the heaters? Yeah, maybe it's that? Maybe it's because it's eating the heaters? Let's see. Home heater has been having issues. Maybe this is it? This is such a stretch, but literally I have no idea. But this has heaters in it, so I'm gonna say you have Leprechaun, and he's just eating up your heater and breaking it. I actually don't know. I hope that's right. Oh, I'm so nervous if I got that wrong. I wasn't confident at that at all. Oh. Hello, Home Safety Hotline. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange cushion type sound coming from outside oh. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and 
putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think there are too many tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? I think I do. Mm -hmm. I think you just oh. have a troll, right? Trolls are giant, 12 foot tall, nocturnal creatures that are normally not seen in the home. However, during winter, they will deflate their bodies. Yep. In order. <laughs> it just sounds like a big old fart. Is that him crawling through the window? To steal warm materials such as blankets and articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. All right, yeah, don't approach this thing, okay? It will actually murder you. It will turn to 12 foot and be awful. Wait, hold on, wait, on the, wait. Trolls are very dangerous to humans, and when they're startled, thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to their full tw height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds, the skin is, despite, uh, despite its flexibility, is increasing, increasingly durable and will smash through the ceilings. Oh my gosh. Sheila! Hello, I saw your commercial and I Feel thought it. I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was I will tell putting you. on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when oh. I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. The... Alright, the confidence is back, baby! Oh. You got a tea spray. I, I don't even know, you know, it's fine. It's fine, I'm so confident. You got a tea spray. They poop little leaves out. I read that and I memorized it in this brain that literally has no memory for anything else. I've been remembering this game. This is what I've been doing in my off time. I am not watching this game in my off time. That is a lie. But I have full confidence. The call didn't even seem messed up. The audio seemed fine, no? But the audio seemed fine. Maybe, maybe it wasn't fine and I didn't pay attention. Can we get a new caller? Oh, there it is. That's the bad internet. Hi, Christy. Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma, some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? I know what you have. I know what you got. I got it. 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 I'm good. I am set in Please hold. stone. You got the bed hag. Because we was reading that. We were just reading that. Shortness of uh, breath. I hope your son is okay. Uh, bed hag. Easy. So confident. I want, I forgot what the solution for bed hag is. I mean, there is hag... What? <laughs> what is, there was like a leather hag face that we could ha hung up. Am I gonna get three no internet calls? Ain't no way you're gonna put me on three no internet calls. Hello? Any day now. Come on. Speed it up over here. You. Oh, there you are. Hello? <laughs> Whoa. I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been on stop lately. I replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Oh. Please hold. It kind of goes do 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 do. I think it's that. Been hearing a hard time sleeping coming from the walls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know what? Let me read about the bed hag real quick. Just real quick. 
Um, bad heads can in fact be beneficial to a home as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where bed hag is undesirable, it is advised. Oh, nothing, nothing too much. But you got whistling fungi. Oh, a new one, a new report. Hopefully, aiming for a hundred percent here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping and praying. We're still going too. These days go on for so long now. We're getting like I think last. I checked last time, and it was 10 people for Friday. Um, Rachel? Hello? Hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Okay, so you just got a smelly house. Please, oh. You ever thought about cleaning your house? It's been upsetting your puppy. Oh, did the music change? Did the music get bad? Hookah? Mm. No, wait, hold on. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can, o can over time create other pest diseases and hazards in the home. A foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded bodies should be found and removed immediately. Huh. Been acting up. You got a puka? I think you got a puka! Pukas can be encouraged to leave home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners. Oh gosh. So refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them. And make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. Dude, you're terrifying! Ooh. Ah. Dude, I would be able to feed this puka all day with my freaking... Oh, I can't. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Um, I think you have a puka. And I'm not even gonna like double check foul smell and your pets acting up and here it says the foul smell So I'm sorry that your puppy meatball died Um, I hope we can find that body for you shortly Uh, prepare a burial All right, right they replace yeah, they replace it so they kill it So I guess they can like shape into it. Yeah, they shape into the likeness and then they kill it You a bad doggy. You a bad puka all right, let's put on portal. Look how nice that is. Hello? Don't be Carol, don't be Carol. <gasps> Flipper! <laughs> What'd they do to him? Squeaking? What did they do to him? <gasps> we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. A hundred percent! Let's go. How many people was that? I'm actually gonna check. I have it on my phone. So we got wine sprite, wood secretion, spriggan, autumn vines, neighbor's doorway, fake feast, bed bugs, leprechaun, troll, tea sprite, bed hag, whistling fungi, puka. 13. Oh my goodness. 13. That's a lot. All right, clock out. Okay. That was freaking great. I love this game so much. I wish it never ended. Is there like an endless mode? But <gasps> Whoa, a browser? Let's check out the entry browser. Oh. We can just like look at this on our own now. What was the squeaking? Why does this look different? Does it look different to everyone? What was the one where it said that like it was messed up and they're gonna update it? This one. No, that doesn't sound like it. Some sort of squeaking. Did he turn? Uh, did he turn to a bogart? No. Oh man, what'd they do to my guy, Flipper? Now 
No. Oh, wow. But it's cool that we get this now. I wonder why. I mean, we could check the email. Let's see. Our email. Congratulations. We're, oh. Oh, 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 we're happy to report that we're most pleased with your labors and are currently making all necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Coupon! Wham, glam, thank you, ma'am. Oh. Wait, whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or if you just want to look your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, our Glamour Stones are 99.9% .9 per, uh, reliability rating. That's what Carol's wearing! Carol wears this! So Carol is a monster! Carol is not human. She's just wearing it. Oh, that's so cool, though. Because, like, imagine if you don't get, like, the, a good score, you would miss out on that. So Carol's a monster. <gasps> it's spicy. I wonder what she is, then. They keep talking about soil. And seedling is the closest... A small insectoid creature, size of an aphid. They're known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. I don't know. I don't think so. What if we just haven't heard about them? This is like the main one that's always about soil. I don't know. What if they're just a bunch of gophers? <laughs> you guys just a bunch of gophers? 